I'm getting very nervous. Don't mind telling you. I'm not 100% sure what I'm nervous about, though, to be honest. Am I nervous that the whole deal will fall through and it won't happen? Actually, I think what I'm really most nervous about is what do I actually do on day one? I'm going to get this prestigious building in the middle of town and what am I going to do with it? I don't know. I'm hoping you guys will tell me. I need you guys to tell me what you want to see happen in there. Okay, so another good thick of... Uh, <clears throat> start again. So I'll put another good thick coat of varnish on the back of this. Uh, that should finish it off. I don't think the letter side needs another coat, but I'll see when I turn... I'll let this dry out for a couple of days and when I turn it over, if it needs another coat, I might put another light one on it. But otherwise, this is nearly finished. Oops, <laughs> maybe I went a little bit too thick, but that's okay. As long as it dries out and hardens up, it'll be like a glass covering on top of it. I'll just keep an eye on it for runs and sort them out if, if it dribbles or runs. But otherwise that should work well. Then I think I will just assemble it all, put it together, tighten up the joints and glue it together. I'll actually glue it together and transport it to site as a completed sign uh, and whack it in the ground as is. I think that's the best way to do it. If I assemble, if I put the two posts in the ground, then I won't be able to get the sign in between them into the holes. So yeah, I will assemble it fully, have it ready to go, totally finished, and then just whack it in the ground with a bit of quick set cement or something and it should be good. The only thing is now is waiting for the keys. I'm going to get this prestigious building in the middle of town and what am I going to do with it? Look, I do have a couple of things lined up. I have a author in residence signed up. Uh, more details about that later. But this is uh, a man who is uh, basically an international author. Uh, five books I think he's put out now in the fiction genre. He's an uh, ex-3RAR officer, uh, excellent writer, great books, um, but he's a passionate, he's a passionate, adv not advocate in the sense of DVA, etc., but he is a passionate advocate for veterans. Um, he was delighted to say yes to my invitation to join us. I've listened to him give public talks in the past. He's a great speaker, tells great stories, very entertaining. So he'll be, you know, it'll be it'll be great to have him do workshops and talks on writing and talks on his writing and talks on how to write, etc. But he's also passionate, he told me, and I didn't know this when I asked him, but he's passionate about talking to guys about how to get a job after they've left the military, how to change your mindset, how to change your expectations, how to value your experience and your knowledge from the military. So I think that that's absolutely up soldier on's area of expertise. You know, they're all about employment services is the E in help. So that's one guy we've got signed up. Uh, I've currently got three volunteers on my little uh, spreadsheet who have actually said to me, yes, we will come and help. The uh, thing about that is um, volunteers need to register officially as a volunteer with Soldier On. So those guys who are on my list currently will be contacted by Soldier On. They'll have to sign a form and to get a police certificate for working with vulnerable people. 
So I've got three volunteers, uh, one of whom has offered to donate a couple of hundred dollars worth of cleaning equipment or products. And he and his wife will come down and help me to use the cleaning products. So thank you very much for that. Uh, I'll include him in a later video if he wants to be. So look, I'm standing here. I've got nothing to do. My sign is tick. My sign is tick with varnish dripping off it. And that's because I've got nothing else to do. I'm chomping at the bit to get into this place. Right, the sign is tucked away for a while to um, to dry and cure and get it out of my sight for a bit because I'm frustrated now. Ne next project is the missus wants a tamper to uh, compact some earth in the garden, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> 